This tutorial outlines how to use variable data in Photoshop. It chooses to create multiple variations of the same graphic and output as PSD files. To do this, you need Photoshop CS3 or above. We're using CS4 in this tutorial. And you also need Excel or another program to save a CSV file. The example we're using today has five variables. Store ID, which is actually hidden. We're just using that to name the output file. The second variable is the headline message. In this example, 40% off your first service. And the percentage changes. Third is the phone number. Each store has a different phone number. Fourth, the white body copy has a different city name in the text. And fifth, the photo. For this project, we've got two files. We've got a Photoshop file, which is layered. The second file is an Excel document, which holds the data we're going to use to feed the variables. Each variable that you want to bring in needs to be set up as a separate layer in Photoshop. Now let's take a quick look at the data file. Each column in the Excel file represents a different variable. Each row in the Excel file represents a different file that will be output from Photoshop. The file then needs to be saved as a CSV file. Back in Photoshop, to find the variables under Image, Variables, Define. Message is going to be a text replacement. Let's call it Message. Notice that that is the same as the column heading in Excel. Store ID. I called that ID in Excel. And the other text-based variables are set up the same way. An image, then we get the option of a pixel replacement. That's simply swapping one image for another. And call it image. Now you need to define your data set. So if you go to image, variables, data set, import the CSV file you created previously. We have check the box to use the first column for data set names. That's what's going to allow us to use the store ID as the file name and the final output. Now that you've imported your data, you can use the left right arrows next to the data set pull down to preview your images. The image isn't turning out as expected, so let's fix that. So go back to define and choose image from the pull down menu to image. And you'll see right here, Photoshop gives some options for the way you want it to fit. Since I know that my images were saved at the size that I want to use them, I'm going to choose as is instead of fit. Switch back to data to preview it again. And this is what we wanted to see. You also notice that I did bring in that store ID, but it's not actually showing up on the file. Let's look at that under layers. You'll see um, this number right here is actually the store ID. Notice that the I is off, which means that it's hidden. I set it up this way so that the output files would be named according to the store ID. Say OK to exit out of that box, and you're all set to export the files. Go to File, Export, Datasets as Files. Click on the Select Folder button to browse to the folder where you'd like to save the files. You have several options for how you want to name the file. We're going to use the data set name plus the extension. That's why we had that store ID variable, so that each file would be named according to the store ID. The file extension is PSD. You can choose between upper or lower case if that makes a difference for your project. Photoshop can only save as Photoshop files. If you need a different file format, You'll need to batch process the files that are output. You're all set. Just click OK to start the process. It's all done. Here's a quick snapshot of the resulting files.